Right now, it's becoming a rivalry, so you know people want want to become a rivalry. Uh, every time I do an interview, it's, it's a rivalry. So you know, they just put it out there, trying to make it a rivalry now. I'm Robin Lundberg, joined now by Bengals wide receiver Jamar Chase on behalf of Sleep Number, the official sleep and wellness partner of the NFL. He's got the new campaign going, the friendly competition with Justin Jefferson and Jamar. On that note, I saw he's rated 99 in Madden, and you're a 94. What do you got to say about that? <laughs> That's a good way to get me started this morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of him, man. You know, honestly, that's a hard thing to get right there. Um, Got to keep working for mine, but no, I, I ain't never going to say nothing bad about bro. Bro doing his thing right now, but I'll be up there soon. Well, you don't have to bring him down to put yourself up. I, I've seen you in the past say you're better because he stole your moves. Do you still believe that's the case, that Jamar Chase is better than Justin Jefferson? <laughs> Yeah, I always think I'm better than the next man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the competition for us. That's, that's what it's there for. You guys were in competition together on, on that LSU team. Looking back at that with, with Joe Burrow, of course, your quarterback now still throwing you the ball. Do you think that's the, the greatest college football team of all time? Uh, 2019, of course. I think so, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Just no no doubts about it? No no questions at all? No, nah, I got to be, man. We definitely did that with ease that whole year of 15 you know, uh, and then won a championship. So it was definitely one of the best years I, I had in college. Yeah, your, your coach back then, Coach O, have you seen any of his viral moments? You, you think he should be returning to the, the sideline or continuing to live his best life? I've seen some of the some of the moments, you know what I'm saying? But hopefully he gets his, gets his foot back in the field and gets back on track. You, you think he would, you know, fit in well with pretty much any program out there? Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure everyone has a certain fit they love to be in, you know what I'm saying? A certain category. Well, Coach O has one. What kind of fit is that? Uh, if I knew, I'd, I'd hire him somewhere, but I don't. <laughs> All right. Now, it's been obviously a seamless fit for you back in college and, and now in the pros with Joe Burrow, but I know you, you said he should take his time getting back out there. I believe I saw he's running and everything. Are you looking at him sideways a, a little bit? How are you, you know, helping Joe Burrow in this recovery process? Yeah, man, honestly, this, I get the same question a lot, you know what I'm saying? I just try to play my part, uh, make sure his spirit's still high and just keep him pushing forward, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't really have a big say on his injury. That's his injury and his body on how he treats himself as far as me want him during the season, you know, I want him to stay as healthy as possible for as long as possible. You expect to see him play in week one? Uh, I don't know what I expect him to do. You know what I'm saying? It's not about what I expect, it's about how he how he feels. You know what I'm saying? So that's the biggest thing about about this whole thing. Well, you know, the other layer of that is the, the backup quarterback situation. Do you see a, a heated competition between Trevor Simeon and, and Browning? Oh uh, yeah, I see a friendly competition. You know what I'm saying? Got to have the quarterbacks doing competition. That's how they get better. You know they're just pushing each other both to be better. The wide receivers are trying to push those guys too, and you know we both pushing each other as well. Do you have confidence in either guy if they're starting the season? Yeah, man. That's that's what I. That's the biggest thing right now. Make sure they keep their confidence and just pushing forward, man. So that's all I can do. Yeah, you know, two wide receivers, more well, more than that, obviously. But another guy on, on your team is, is T. Higgins. Do you think he gets enough credit for how good he is? No, nah, not really, man. He doesn't get enough credit. Uh, I don't even think he was ranked in the top 100. You know what I'm saying? So he got to be in there somehow, man. You know, T's a very great player. Um, has great instincts, ball skills. You know, he has it all, you know. And I think he should be definitely in that 100. And, you know, I think it goes without saying, you believe you two are the, the best wide receiver tandem in the NFL and would help any quarterback have success? Yeah, best duo. You know, everybody already knows that. Um, but, you know, I, I love the speaking. I now play for the speaking for it, so. Well, you did do a little speaking in the, the lead up to the season, you know, with Patrick Mahomes and that whole exchange, Travis Kelsey. Did you see the quarterback series where Mahomes had said, you know, he he thought the, the Bills were a better matchup, but he wanted the, the Bengals? How badly do you want to get back at the Chiefs? No, I didn't see that. I don't be snooping around for stuff like that. So we're not really worried about it. We're not, I ain't going to say we're not worried about it. We know we got to um, punch them in the mouth again, you know what I'm saying, when we get the chance to and take care of business, man. We, we know what's, what's in store now. Do you have any message for, for Travis Kelsey? Because, you know, he said if you guys are going to talk, you got to back it up. I'm pretty sure I'll back it up that every time I play him. So, you know, he just wants some, he just wants me to chirp back with him. I ain't going to go back and forth with him. I'll do that. Is that the best rivalry in the NFL, Chiefs-Bengals? Uh, right now, yeah. 
right now it's becoming a rivalry. So, you know, people want to want to become a rivalry. Uh, every time I do an interview, it's, it's a rivalry. So, you know what I'm saying? They're just putting it out there, trying to make it a rivalry now. What's one word to describe how you feel about the team? Toxic. <laughs> All right, before we get back into your, your partnership with Sleep Number, let, let me get your receiver, Mount Rushmore, real quick. All time, top four receivers in. All right, I'm going uh, to do Kelvin Johnson. I got to get Antonio Brown in there. I'll probably throw Cooper Cup in there. I'll throw Cup in there. Got to throw Cup in there with the Triple Crown. And um, Jerry Rice, of course. So, no Randy Moss or T.O.? I'm not knocking them, you know what I'm saying? I'd add, o I'd add Ocho in there, too, if I could. You just, you know what I'm saying? That's only four. Yeah, no, I, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's, it's always tough to put them together. All right, you know, you, you make your best list. You, you give your best answers. You, you play your best football when you get your best sleep. Tell us ab about your partnership with, with Sleep Number and, and what you guys are doing. Yeah, Sleep Number um, got me with this to, you know, show off what the sleep's looking like for us. Uh, giving them way more sleep. I've been getting better sleep. Uh, I know other athletes who have has been getting better sleep. But you know, that's that's what the whole thing is about. And you know, the friendly, friendly competition with Justin, you know, now that it's off the field, you know, we're doing it with the sleep number now. So who gets the best sleep with that? So like I said, it's all about the sleep, you know, and just making ways to make it more, you know, available for us athletes. All right, Jamar Chase, uh, good luck with, with the, the Bengals and this upcoming NFL season. Thanks for the time. No problem, thank you.